Bubble Busters! Hi, I'm Alan, a sophomore in high school. I'm currently in a relationship with Helen, my girlfriend. We've been dating for a year now. I'm totally in love with her. Helen, what do you want to do this Sunday? I'm happy to do whatever you want. Calm down, Alan. Why? I want the whole world to know that I'm in love with you. Recently, my friends say that you're like a pet dog to me. And I'm a little embarrassed. Oh, really? I'm sorry that your friends have been teasing you because of me. You should be insulted that they would call you my pet. Okay. I will try to be careful from now on so that your friends don't refer to me as your pet. Yes, thank you. So, what do you want to do on Sunday? Oh, sorry. I already have plans with Sarah on Sunday. I see. I suppose time with your friends is important too. Yes, it is. On Sunday, I was at home relaxing since I didn't have any plans. My smartphone began to ring. I saw that it was Helen calling me. Helen, what's up? Help me! Are you okay? Where are you? I'll come right over. When I got to Helen, she was shaking in fear. It seemed that her friend Sarah had played a bad prank on her. Helen told me what had happened. Sarah, where are we going today? You want to go shopping, right? I've asked another friend to join us. Who? Hey, Aaron, come over here. Sarah, I was waiting across the street for you. You're late. Sorry. Is this your friend? She's cute. Sarah, what's going on? I wanted to introduce you to Aaron. I think that you guys will hit it off. But I'm already dating Alan. Alan is so annoying. He's all over you like a dog. You can do so much better. Aaron's more sophisticated and fun. Plus, he has cool blue hair. Much better than Alan's red hair. Your boyfriend is in high school, right? I'm a college student, so I'm sure I'm much more mature. I'm going to leave you two to enjoy the rest of the afternoon. What? Sarah, wait! Helen, where are you going? I thought that we were hanging out with each other today. Helen told me that Aaron then hugged her. Helen panicked and ran away from him. Although Helen was safe, I was angry with Sarah and Aaron for what they did. I went and told the police about what had happened. But they told me that they couldn't do anything about it because nothing happened in the end. So, I decided to confront Sarah on my own. Sarah, why did you force Helen to go out on a date with Aaron? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't deny it. Don't look at me with that scary expression. I was even more angry now that Sarah was pretending that she had done nothing wrong. She was even smiling. Did she think that this was a joke? You put Helen in danger. Aaron could have really hurt her. She ran away? She's no fun. How dare you! You have no right to be mad if nothing happened. If anything, Helen was lucky. Sarah's pure evil. Trouble monsters? Sarah felt no remorse for her actions. I won't forgive her! Trouble busters! You know, this is an actual crime. What are you saying? The police aren't going to do anything if nothing happened. But Aaron hugged Helen against her will. It's not my fault. Aaron did that. Helen may have wanted him to hug her. You never know. Well, she didn't. Helen was upset about what happened, and you could get expelled for what you did to her. You're so clueless about everything. What do you mean? Don't you know how much money my father donates to our school? What? You do know who my father is, don't you? He's an assemblyman, right? So what? My father would do anything to make sure that I don't get expelled. I'm his precious daughter. I won't let your father protect you when you're the one that's at fault. You don't have the power to do anything about it. My father can make this go away. If you don't stop harassing me, you're the one that's going to get expelled. Sarah was going to use her father's authority to good use. I was so frustrated. So, just like Sarah had predicted, she didn't get into any trouble. Helen wasn't her first victim. Sarah liked to play mean pranks on people just because she was bored. 
If things got messy, she got her father to fix it for her. This is how things went down. I can't believe that Sarah got away with what she did to you. I know. I'm so angry. Are you feeling okay now? Yes, I'm alright. I was lucky that I was able to get away from Aaron, but I'm still mad at Sarah. That's why I loved Helen. She had a sense of justice. Whenever Sarah's father got in touch with the school, the teachers couldn't say no to him because of his status. We had to think of a better plan to get Sarah to pay for her crimes. Helen, leave the rest to me. What have you come up with? I came up with a great plan. I was livid with Sarah. I had to put a stop to her bad behavior. This was my last resort. I didn't really want to go this route. But since Sarah wasn't giving in, I had no choice. I won't forgive her. Trouble Busters! I went to Sarah's house with my dad. Sarah, we need to talk. What do you want now? Who did you bring with you? I'm Alan's father. Really? So you brought your father to compete with mine? You're so stupid. There's no way your father is going to beat my father. Just wait and see. I don't understand what you mean. Do you still not understand how important my father is? I know your father very well. We've spoken many times before. Oh, during his election? My father meets all sorts of people during elections. I'm sure he doesn't remember you. Okay, whatever. I've already submitted the evidence of you harassing Helen to the police. Like I said before, that's meaningless. <laughs> you don't know that. I do know. Dad! Ellen is bullying me! Can you come rescue me? Sarah called her father, and he came into the room. The fact that he was home was a part of my plan. Who is the bully making my daughter sad? Oh, you are... Huh? As soon as Sarah's father saw my father in the room, he went pale. What's going on? Dad, are you alright? I see that you've been promoted. Um... I'm not. What's happening? Dad, tell Alan to stop bullying me! Be quiet, Sarah! You don't know who Alan's father is! Who is he? He's the gang boss of our community! You mean, the boss of the Mafia? Yes, my father was the gang boss of the Mafia. Sarah's father would engage in dirty business from time to time. And he would get my father and his associates to get the job done. That's why Sarah's father couldn't stand against my father. For obvious reasons, I didn't tell my friends at school that my father was part of the Mafia. I didn't want to rely on my father, but I was worried about Helen and other potential victims of Sarah and Aaron. We need to talk. What is this regarding? It's about your daughter Sarah. I see. What has she done? It seems that your daughter has been playing bad pranks on her female friends and putting them in danger. I didn't think she would do such a thing. We have the evidence. Evidence? We brought Sarah's friend Aaron as a witness. Aaron came into the room, looking life had been sucked out of him. Sarah became pale after seeing Aaron in such a state. Why are you here? Look what happened to me. It's all your fault. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. What? What are you saying? Aaron told us everything. You can't get away with this. What are you going to do to make up for what you did? You're not making any sense. Don't talk back to Alan's father. My father will fix this, like he always does. You shut your mouth. Dad? I'm very sorry for what my daughter has done. Please, forgive her. Dad, why are you apologizing? I don't understand why you can't stand up to Alan's father. He's in the Mafia. Sarah's father begged for forgiveness. Sarah could not understand what was happening. What does Alan's father have on you? Sarah, because you're still young, I won't go into the details, but your father and I work together. I'm so sorry. Sarah, you need to apologize too. Why should I? Shut up and do as I say. This is all your fault. I have a friend that works at the police. 
He helps me out from time to time. I'm going to let him know about what Sarah did. I'm also going to tell him about how you've been abusing your power to have your way at Sarah's school. I'm so sorry. Please forgive us. Hmm, if only you and your daughter had lived more honestly. What a shame. Please, uh, can we just handle this discreetly? You should take responsibility for what your daughter has done. You can't hide from this. Not knowing what to do, Sarah's father took out his anger onto Sarah. You've ruined my career as a politician! This isn't my fault! I've cleaned up your mess many times before, but not anymore! You've taken it for granted! Wait! Don't be so mad! I'm going to lose my job over this! What am I going to do now? Huh, what a pathetic family! They don't seem to see the big picture. They're greedy and selfish. My father and I have nothing to do with this. You need to make things right with the victims. Yes, of course we will. And you need to apologize to the school for all the ridiculous demands you've made. Yes, I will. After this, Sarah got expelled from high school, and her father had no choice but to resign after the bad rumors began to spread. The media surrounded Sarah's house, and news of their scandal was reported widely. The school principal was also interviewed by the media for his backdoor dealings with a politician. The school held a press conference to apologize for the scandal involving crime, money, and power. In the end, the principal resigned. The school became notorious for a scandal, and Sarah's photos were posted onto the internet. In order to avoid the media attention, Sarah stayed locked up in her house. Since the scandal, the relationship between Sarah and her father worsened, and they would argue all the time. In the end, Sarah's father reported the crimes of his daughter to the police. To get back at her father, Sarah revealed all the bad things her father had done when he was a politician. The media would often talk about the falling out of Sarah and her father. Because of all the gossip and attention, Sarah and her family had no choice but to leave town. Aaron was also questioned for cooperating with Sarah, and because of the bad rumors going around about him, he was expelled from college. He couldn't find a decent job after getting expelled. I hope that Sarah and her father, as well as Aaron, think about what they have done to their victims and spend their time regretting what they've done. Helen and I are both doing well, and we're still in a relationship with each other. Because of this incident, my father and Helen became close, and I'm happy that something good came out of this terrible situation. My father may work for the Mafia, but he still has a good heart and is kind. I look up to him for having a big heart. Trouble Busters!